Okay. At that time, the sound of people dashing down a corridor could be heard. It was Badler, George, and Jessica, who had come from the guest house after being called there by Ava. They immediately spotted a guest they didn't recognize, and their eyes went wide. Oh, <laughs> 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 So Badler, George, and Jessica didn't have a clue what was going on, were utterly bewildered. They each introduced themselves. ご都合じゃない。これで人数がはっきりするわ。ゲストハウスのバトラたちが合流し、今客間には金蔵以外の全ての駒が人間が揃う。そうなるわね。つまり今この客間にいる人数が在当者全ての人数18人いるはずの島
事故は真実ではないかこの台風です島のどこであろうとも船での接岸は不可能です Genji had already considered what she now suspected Nancy probably suspected that this mysterious guest who had arrived during the already high stress family conference might be the agent of some conspiracy So Genji had already checked to make sure that the accident was real that Fereda Erika was her real name and that there was nothing suspicious going on わかりました。主人も丁重にもてなすようにと指示しています。粗相のないようになさい。ですが、分かっていますね。はい。親族会議には一切近づけません。夕食後はゲストハウスへお引き取り願います。うん。客人をお父様に挨拶させろというような流れ
というわけでゴーダスすみませんがお箸をお願いします私が日本人として恥ずかしくない食べ方をご覧に入れてみせましょう<笑>オーケーところで次のお料理は何ですかそれが困ったことに次はスープでございまして<笑> She imitated a shrugging gesture エリカ winked at everyone <laughs> Of course no one was laughing at her She obviously knew that soup came after hors d'oeuvres in a full course meal. Furthermore, Erika had noticed both that she'd been performing too perfectly and creating a sense of tension, and that Hideyoshi had tried to break the ice because he thought she was nervous. That's why she started acting a little childish and lighthearted, acting out the part of a guest enjoying a harmonious dinner. Pretty soon, not only Kirie, but everyone else caught on. Though she was an uninvited guest, she was apparently worthy of participating in an Ushiromiya family dinner. Yeah, total <laughs> マナーも見事じゃないか。あんな子が娘だったら悪くはない。どうどうせだんフランチェスコ、ディック。ひどいわ。ルドルフ兄さん。I <laughs> mean, <laughs> <laughs> See, like, if Rudolph had said that shit about Badler, Badler would give a shit. He'd be like, yeah, yeah, dad just talks shit about me. That's just how dad rolls. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah Badler would give a fuck. And obviously, Rudolph, what, like, clearly cares about his kid, but he just likes to talk shit. <laughs> you know, so it'd just be like a normal thing. But for fuck between like Kraus and Jessica, Kraus saying some shit like that, Jessica's obviously be like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Come on, what is this shit? Man, yo, know, she'd make a great daughter. Hmm. Wish I had one like her. And you know, Jessica's just like, Come on, I do my best. Fuck, man. Oh,前も。日頃、夏日おばさんに仕込まれてる。テーブルマナーと貫禄で対抗してみろよ。<laughs> Jessica straightened up so much it looked like someone had poked her back with a pole. She had good posture, but it somehow lacked elegance. She looked, well, kind of like a triangle ruler. <laughs> she sat at attention with her gaze fixed straight ahead, trying to bring her food to her mouth despite this, and failed miserably. Dad, who was sitting next to her, suddenly realized that something was up. Hmm? Jessica turned bright red. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. We laughed our heads off. Jessica protested, still bright red. And Nazi scolded us for being too improper. Well, no matter how much we tried to smooth it over, we are who we are. Hell yeah. We couldn't pretend any longer. Still, that laugh really did help us to relax. We were so concerned about the guests getting nervous, we'd gotten even more nervous ourselves. Our chatter from the center of this long table spread to both ends, and ultimately the dinner went even more smoothly than usual. Lovely. With some delicious cheese and coffee, our peaceful meal came to an end. Goto won unanimous acclaim and was praised for his skill by all present. After a short period of harmony following the meal, it was decided that we would return to the guest house. Normally, dinner tended to have a very dark atmosphere about it, and the adults would often keep that mood as they moved straight on to the family conference. However, perhaps because this year's dinner had been oddly peaceful, everyone decided to take a break, the adults included. After eating, taking a bath, and relaxing while watching TV, I wonder if they'll gather again in the mansion with all this rain at rain and resume? Oh, with all this rain and resume that high-tension family conference of theirs. I'd rather not think about it. Apparently Aunt Ava was getting really worked up trying to convince the rest to start the family conference right away, but it looked like many people agreed with her. Ava. 
Kitty, I just talked about this. You're being too pushy, Jesus. <laughs> they probably call it quits for the night. Since they had guest house duty, Godasan and Kamasasan were chosen to guide us to the guest house. It's gotta be tough for Godasan. Even after making and cleaning up such an extravagant dinner, he also has the late night shift at the guest house. He, uh, of course he does, gotta keep him away from the mansion. He's the one that doesn't know about the secret. I heard that Kamasasan, old as she was, would be going to sleep soon. Seems she was assigned to spare room. みなさまおゲストハウスまでご愛理科様のお部屋もご用意できておりますありがとうございます体調はどうです具合が悪かったりはしませんかまあそうだすっかり忘れてたけどエリカちゃんはおぼれ今日は無理しねえで早く寝た
maybe it was more common in the 80s. So, the Gotoshu no Kinzo san wa so Oyashiki no naka ni keiji しました Tsumari, Kono Oyashiki no ningen o taisho ni した nazo da. So, you know, Kono Yashiki no naka de aru ijo. Kono Yashiki ni daily deki nai mono ni wa toki yo tsumari. Kono Yashiki no ningen ni jisho sen stick it up to work it up. Are y'all just really realizing that? Like, hmm, Kinzo's only shown the, the riddle in this house. So he wants us to solve it? Crazy. Wow, that's why. No fucking shit. Good. 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 At first, his photo of Etika girl seemed to be the fairly silent type, but that apparently wasn't the case. As she grew excited by a challenge to a game of wits, she became much more talkative than I had imagined. Really? No, no one connected these dots? <laughs> no one thought that... Uh, were y'all waiting for some outsider to solve it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. The, the repetaph's always been in the mansion. Wait, but he wanted us to solve it? Hmm, this is quite the revelation. <laughs> like, how? How is this a revelation? Why is this surprising you? <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> I mean, that's the one that's like up for interpretation. You know, it's like, how can you be so sure of that? この謎を解いて得られる宝が本の the idea that the one who solved the epitaph would be chosen as the successor had been passed around by some of the relatives for a while now. However, since it had never been specifically announced, it was nothing more than an optimistic dream. Thinking this, they decided to abandon all consideration of this, of this point until the details were made clear. Etika had clearly declared that this uncertain point was, in fact, true. If one of the relatives had said it, people would have thought it to be merely an optimistic dream. However, when this was declared by a complete outsider, those words seemed even more credible. Everyone remained silent for a while, slowly considering what those words implied. Mm -hmm.